Taurus, welcome back to my channel. So let's jump into your quick energy check-in reading. We're going to check this person's temperature, Taurus, and see what they're feeling and thinking about you. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and click that notification bell. So when I upload readings, you guys will be notified. And also, don't forget to join the new My Cards Never Lie member squad to get early access to all videos and special content that will be posted on this channel soon. All right. Let's jump into your messages and let's see what's going on with this person. Let's see what they're feeling and thinking. We have the High Priestess. We have the Knight of Swords. Someone has something they want to get off of their chest. Somebody has something to say. You have something to say to you, Taurus. Um, are you holding back from somebody? Somebody wants to know what you're feeling and what you're thinking because you're not taking any action. You may be thinking about this person, but you're not letting them know it or they're thinking about you and they're not letting you know it. Or the both of you are thinking about each other, but not saying anything and being stubborn. Maybe both of you have something you want to get off of your chest. The Ten of Swords. This was an ending. Um, or if this hasn't ended, you don't know where you guys stand with each other. So somebody feels stabbed in the back here. Somebody feels betrayed. I'm picking up exhaustion. It's like I'm tired. I don't want to deal with this anymore. Or I don't know if I want to deal with this. You could be dealing with an air sign. A Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. If this person said they didn't want this connection anymore, they're going to change their mind. But first they have something to say to you. Are they going to text you something? Yeah, this is someone who's just waiting it out. We have the Five of Cups and the Three of Wands. This is somebody who's like, I can't believe Taurus is holding back and they're not talking to me. How long is this going to go on? Somebody wants to know if this is serious or if this is just that you're mad right now. We have the Page of Cups. It's like they're thinking about ways to come towards you and offer love, hoping that you accept it. This could be somebody who's regretting their actions towards you with this Five of Cups. They may be holding on to the past because they can't seem to get this right. Or maybe in your eyes, that's how it looks. Or maybe this is something that you said to them. So they may feel like, I can't do right by Taurus. Or Taurus is never happy with me. This could be a Gemini. For some of you. Or Twin Flame. I feel like you still love this person, Taurus. You just, you're tired of going through things with them. Yeah, the Magician's reversed here. This definitely could be a Gemini or a Virgo. And you feel like it's hard to manifest whatever you want with this person because they're always playing around. They're never serious. Or they don't, you feel like they don't take this relationship serious. All right, so I'm picking up the energy that um, you feel like because they don't take it serious that you're going to stop taking it serious. You're like, I'm not going to put effort into it if you don't. And this is what's happening here with this high priestess. You're, you're letting your intuition guide you. If your intuition tells you to hold back or if your gut feeling tells you to hold back because this person's playing games, you're shutting them down. You're not saying anything. You're not doing anything. You're like, I'm not putting anything into this. If you want it to work, then you're going to have to show it. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. We have the King of Swords. We have a lot of air energy here. Some of you are definitely dealing with air signs. We have the Knight of Cups. So this King of Swords is coming back towards you with a loving, emotional energy. Um... I don't know why I feel like you're going to turn this person down. Give me one second. That card just flew out of the deck. The Ten of Cups reverse. Maybe this is why it's all happening. Because you are tired of waiting for this person to tell you whether they want a relationship or a family or a future or something. I feel like you guys keep arguing about this or talking about it. Maybe when you talk about it, they try to ignore you. They're not answering you.
you're not happy with this um, situation anymore. There's a lot of conflict here with you and this person. Yep, and look what just came out of the deck. You're not happy with this, but there is still love here. Something needs to be dealt with, though. Why is everybody getting the tower? Like, this is the third reading, I believe, that I did, and the tower came out. Um, it may have something to do with this 1010 portal that's coming up on Thursday, where it's time to make a decision about your person. It's like, either I'm going to leave or I'm going to stay, but I'm not going to keep going through the motions with you about what you want. Because I feel like this is someone who tells you that they want a relationship and they tell you they're going to do the right thing, and, but they never show it. Their their behavior and their actions is just totally different from what they say out their mouth. And you're tired. You feel like um, you're just tired of taking this person's word for things. Some of you are being stubborn and you're just you just shut down on this person. It may seem like it's out of the blue, but it's really not. You've been feeling this way for quite some time, and I feel like this person's been ignoring you. They haven't been taking you serious. We have the hangman here, unhappiness, trapped. You feel dissatisfied. You feel like something is always delayed with whoever this is. It's like this. So in your mind, you feel like this is never going to move forward. You're like, what am I waiting on? Why am I fooling myself? I'm not going to keep playing with them. I mean, well, I'm not going to keep letting this person play with me. When I know what I feel, I know what I see. Two of cups, like, yeah, we love each other, but that's not enough. I feel like love is just not enough anymore. <laughs> You're like, I need more. And I feel like you've told this person, I'm seeing here that you possibly have told this person this several times. We have the Ace of Wands. Some of you are, are like just changing. It's a change. But I feel like because of this change, it's going to cause this person to come out of this stagnant energy. And maybe this is something that the universe is saying should have been should have happened a long time ago. And when the tower comes into the situation, this sudden change of destruction and disaster and confusion, it has always been there. It's just I feel like you guys were tiptoeing around it and not really dealing with the problem at hand. It's like maybe when you guys would get into an argument, you would just like agree to disagree and come back together. But the problem was never solved. It was never dealt with. Well, the universe is saying now it's time to deal with it. You can't get around it anymore. It's like either we're going to stay together, we're going to break up, we're going to fix this or something, but it just can't be the way it's been in the past. Yeah, the wall of fortune's reversed here. The page of swords. Well... Even though you're not talking to someone right now and you guys are going through something, this person is still waiting and watching with the Page of Swords. This could be a younger air sign. There's so much. Either this is about um, you guys both being in your head about the situation or a lot of you are dealing with air signs. It could be both. But somebody is watching and waiting with this page of swords. They're being patient. If you block this person, it could be irritating the hell out of them with the will of fortune reverse. But if they're able to see what you're up to and what you're doing, but you're just not doing anything, you're not active on, on your social media, or if you are active, you're not saying anything to them, you're ignoring them. It could be pissing the hell out, pissing the pissing them off i couldn't even get that out it could be pissing them off taurus basically this also may be someone who feels like um with the will of fortune reverse they keep getting bad luck it's like everything bad keeps happening to me and now this with taurus they feel like they can't catch a break right now Okay, let's see. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. Judgment reverse. Someone who keeps lying about something. Some of you may want the truth from this person, but you feel like, okay, until I get the truth from them, that is, it's, we can't talk, we can't deal with each other. This could be a Scorpio here. Some of you are holding a grudge with this person because you feel like they're dishonest. You're like, I can't trust them. I can't believe anything that they say. You feel like this person is always doing things behind your back. And you're like, I can't possibly have a relationship with them if I can't trust them. Eight of Wands. All right. So I do see movement. I see communication. All right. So this is somebody who can't, they can't take this. <laughs> if you're not talking to this person right now, this person may have some money issues too. They may, um, they may be going through some financial issues and then they're going through issues with you and their love life. This person's overwhelmed. They're stressed out. They need to talk. They need someone to talk to. So this person may want to talk to you, but they may feel like you're not there for them right now. Maybe this is someone, Taurus, that, you know, they, they tell you their, all of their problems, you know, things that they go through in life. Maybe they talk to you all the time. This could be someone that you text a lot during the day or they text you. And now that you guys aren't talking, they feel like lost or like you're leaving them out. Let's see. Messages to you have for Taurus. Mm, three of Swords. A six of Pentacles. This is someone who's going to try to fix this. If they haven't already, they will. Yep. The Seven of Pentacles. Let's work towards fixing this situation. Oh, yeah. They're not letting this, this um, they're not letting this in. They see you as the um, nine of pentacles. They see you as someone who's very financially stable. You have your shit together. They know anyone would be glad to have you in their life. So this person is not looking forward to letting this relationship go. They want a peaceful resolution to this. They want to compromise. They want to end this conflict that you guys are going through. They know their current approach is not working, though. They know that you're so disappointed in them. That this is, they feel like this is complicated for them to fix, but they're definitely not looking to break up with you. Taurus, I feel like this person said something to you to make you angry or to hurt you in some sort of way. Because we have the Eight of Wands. And we had a three of swords here. They said something that, um, um, yeah, okay. This may, this may have been someone who said something or walked away from you, but now they're going to come back and try to fix it because they may be realizing that they shouldn't have said it or whatever they did, they shouldn't have done it, <laughs> basically. But we have the Empress here and the Nine of Pentacles. So this person may think about the situation and be like, well, wait a minute. Did I really just do this or say this? Now I got to come back and try to win Taurus over before they actually give up on me. All right, let's get one more. Give me one more for Taurus. Yeah. They don't know how you feel about something that was said or done. This could be a Pisces that you're dealing with. You may feel like something is hopeless. You're like, I can't fix this. We have the King of Wands here with the Ace of Swords reverse. This is somebody who or who's going to try to reconcile with you, but this person doesn't know what they want. So make sure um, that you're not settling when it comes to this person, Taurus. Make sure that whatever they tell you, you're like, prove it. Keep your word. Because I do see reconciliation here with the Six of Cups. This person feels like if they don't reach out and say something, they're going to have a missed opportunity with you. 
or they may feel like they already have a missed opportunity. Someone may have waited around for too long to speak their mind and to, to say what's on their heart. An Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And they thought you were going to reach out to them first. You fooled this person, Taurus. You did not reach out to them. You're like, I'm not fixing nothing. <laughs> you fooled this person. They sat and they waited and they thought that you were going to reconcile with them. Now, they have to reach out to you or try to get your attention. So those are the messages that I have for your reading, Taurus. Thank you for watching my channel and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.